A hundred percent of Christians make decisions because they have peace. Peace is not discernment. You can have peace about something and God is not in it. So having peace doesn't mean it is God sending you. Peace is not discernment at all. Because peace can be invoked different in different ways. If I feel good about something or I, I, my heart is not jumping about something, then I know it is good. But have you ever noticed in scripture, anywhere where God appeared and there was peace? When angels appeared, men wanted to pass out and die. When God appeared, people are like dead men. That angels have to tell you, peace, be still. So if you're thinking it is in peace you find God, you have deceived yourself. <clears throat> Just because you feel peace about something doesn't mean God sent you in it. <laughs> How many people make decisions about relationship because they have peace? How many people make decisions about business deals because they have peace? And then you get in there, you realize that he wasn't what he said he was. She wasn't what he, she said she was. The, the friend wasn't what you thought you were. Because you felt good and you had peace about it, you assumed. No. Listen to me. Listen to me and hear me carefully. Jesus our Lord said this. The peace I give you surpasses understanding. So if you have understanding, it's not peace. Because you are trying to deal with a God who is spirit. You are trying to take spiritual things and put them in the soulish realm. No, the peace of God has nothing to do with I feel calm. Jesus wasn't calm about going to the cross. He was tormented by going to the cross. It was a difficult thing to go to the cross. And even the devil knew that Jesus was struggling with going to the cross. He was going to do it, but it wasn't easy. If angels have to come and comfort you, if angels have to come and give you strength, then it tells you this thing was not an easy thing. Do you realize when the Lord Jesus would say, the son of man will be crucified and this, and, and, and Peter went to Jesus and said, Lord, stop talking like that. You will not die. Notice Peter in his naivety, in his naivety, he believed that Jesus should not die that way and his intentions were good. He didn't feel peace about Jesus the healer dying. He, he didn't see the point of him dying for what? Suffering for what? Jesus, stop talking like this. You're not going to die. Jesus said, hey, walk thee behind me, Satan. I can see you. I know you. You don't like the things of God. Peter was confused. What? Peter thought... His good feelings towards Jesus were his own. Yet it was the spirit of deception and Satan was behind it. Yet Peter was with Jesus. So being in church, being a Christian, having the Holy Spirit does not mean you have discernment. Adam and Eve were in the garden of God. They didn't know what sin was, but they had no discernment. 